Hi, this is Daniel Ta from Placemaker, and I'm going to review the trial model that comes with the Placemaker trial that works in SketchUp. This trial model is a fully functional version of Placemaker. It does require the Placemaker trial version installed, but it will allow you to understand how Placemaker works and goes through step-by-step -step tutorials for all the different functions that come with Placemaker. It's a great way to understand what the program does and we're going to jump right in to the basics from installation through all the different features. Let's start with the basics here. If you go to the placemaker.com website, suplacemaker.com, you can click on download trial. And once you get to the download trial button, this is where you can order the trial and you can install that and you'll get a demo version of Placemaker on your computer. But to get the full version to work in SketchUp through our special full version model, you have to click our special free trial tutorial. Again, this is on the trial page. Once you click on that, this is where you can, it'll take you to the next page where you can download the Placemaker script right here and you can download the fully functional trial tutorial model. Click on that link, you can download the file it does require you to install the Placemaker extension into SketchUp for it to work correctly. So make sure you do that and then you can open up and work with the trial. I have the tutorial trial model open and ready on SketchUp. And there's a bunch of tabs, 1 through 12, that go through the different trial options. The first one, which defaults when you start the introduction, just quickly tells you that you need to zoom in or move around the tutorial model a bit to make sure you can read all the instructions and to make sure that you've installed the placemaker extension for you to use this. I'm not going to go through all the text here, I'm just going to go to the next option which is the placemaker menu and you can see that the scene transitions. This one option basically tells you how to open up the placemaker dialog and if you've installed it you just go to extensions placemaker and you'll have the placemaker dialog available to you and open right there and it just gives you the quick instructions to do that and then it starts jumping into the actual tutorial for the different options I'm gonna go ahead and click on the next tab 3 buildings part 1 and you'll see that you have a preloaded map with some instructions on how this works. And I'm going to zoom in on the instructions here, which is what we recommend everyone to do when they're working with this trial. And it's going to walk through the different options of how to use this. In this case, it's very straightforward. I'm going to click on the aerial. I'm going to click on the buildings button on the left on my placemaker dialog window. And that's going to show the hourglass, which is what it talks about in these instructions. And it's going to import in the buildings. And you can see it's doing it live. and you can see the screen jumped for a second but it imported in all the buildings so that's your first phase of using the trial model here now keep in mind this only works with this particular SketchUp tutorial model if you download the regular trial if you just try this with your regular SketchUp model and the placemaker trial you can preview areas that you want to look at in placemaker but the way that trial works is it disappears once you disengage the tool or escape out of a command. It basically shows you a preview of it, just so you know that. But that's why we created this particular tutorial, so you can actually preview everything as it would actually work for your site. I'm now going to select the roads option, and it's the same thing, same kind of tutorial. It's going to tell you to click on the road option here. Next I'm going to go to paths, waters, and trees and it will allow for the same option. So I will click in and do roads and it placed the roads in for me. I'm going to click on paths, waters, and tree and we're going to do the rest of it to show what that all looks like. So I have everything in now, the paths, the buildings, the water, the trees, and the roads. Keep in mind as I'm doing this tutorial I'm pausing the recording to allow placemaker to process the request it does take some time but now we have in this model 
the buildings, water, paths, vegetation, and everything else that we want to import from Placemaker. It's that simple and how that works. And I'm going to move on now to the next portions, which is the high res aerials and working on terrain. I'm on scene tab seven, and this talks about how you import high resolution aerials into Placemaker. And you can see here's the example image showing the quality differences between what you'll import. Read the instructions here. I'm going to go to the next tab. And this one, again, you, it's one of those tabs where you'll have to kind of pan over and zoom in at the instructions, which is the way we intended it for this tutorial. But it's really quickly I'm going to talk about the licensing information for aerials. Everybody has a quota when you which comes with placemaker when you purchase it so i'm going to click on placemaker here on the i'm sorry i'm going to click on the aerial i'm going to click on the imagery button and it's going to pop up my own usage credit system and i have credits that can be used everybody gets a different amounts of credits when they use placemaker but i'm going to click download and it's going to import in the tiled high resolution aerial i'm going to pause the video and wait for that to catch up it finished and it imported in the high resolution aerial much better quality for what you can normally get just out of SketchUp again that comes with Placemaker and you can try that on your own with this trial tutorial the last part of our tutorial will talk about how to make all the Placemaker features work on terrain and again we have our panel of instructions here that you can read through and we have a terrain model. Now this requires a different approach to working with Placemaker. You need to import in the aerial using the SketchUp location tool. That's easy to find under view toolbars location. Instead of using just the regular aerial select a place which in, in Placemaker which is right here. Because this allows you to toggle on the terrain in SketchUp. So that's the first thing that this tutorial goes over. And that in this in the trial model and make sure that you read these instructions to understand how to do that. Next, we want to get a high resolution onto our terrain. And again, we have our instructions here that kind of show you how that all works. You can zoom in on that. In this case, it's simple as well. All this placemaker features have an arrow next to them. This is an expandable menu. And each one has something similar and, and you need to select these options when working with terrain. So I'm going to select the aerial here. I'm going to expand the imagery button and notice that it says paint selected surface on terrain. What it will do is actually apply the high resolution aerial directly to the terrain surface when we do it, which is exactly what I'm going to try now. I'm going to click on it. My quota button comes back up again. I'm going to click on download. I'm going to pause the recording while Placemaker actually starts doing it. You can see it's already working as I'm speaking. It finished. We now have our high resolution aerial here sitting on the terrain. I'm going to turn on the hidden geometry. You can see the, the mesh surface here. I'm going to click on the Make Place tab. And this will finish off what we're doing so we want to add the water the buildings the roads and we can do that all in one shot using the make place button before we were using all the individual buttons but first you need to make sure that you expand all these menus so for example roads and you select merge with surface this will make sure that placemaker will drape the roads onto the train you'll get a warning that this is going to take a little bit longer to do so SketchUp's going to be unresponsive but I'm going to do it for each option here. Merge with surface. Same with the buildings to make sure that the buildings are dropped down correctly onto the terrain. And we'll do the same with water and trees. And again, all we're really doing is expanding these menus. And you get to see that there's other options available in here that can customize some of these settings. Just something to keep in mind that we don't go over the specifics in this tutorial. I'm going to select the terrain here and I'm going to click on the make place option which will import everything except the imagery which we did in the previous step. I'll be back once this is completed. The process completed. 
We now have the water, the roads, the paths. Everything draped onto the terrain. It's fairly simple to do with that one process. It takes a little bit of time. Notice it did not import any trees. There was no available data for this area for trees. There was in the previous model we had just done for the San Francisco area. So this wraps up how the tutorial model works. Highly recommend that you give it a shot and it will teach you how to work best with SketchUp. Also remember that you get with Placemaker when you purchase it, you get the building bundle, which is about 300 high quality buildings. You can also purchase those separately. Thanks a lot. Please leave us some comments and feedback and we're always planning on improving Placemaker.